Greetings, my name is Simon Cox and I'm going to be telling you about Firefly here at St Mary's. Um, in this short video I'm going to be telling you what Firefly is, how you can log in, how you can best support your daughter while using it and a few other little kind of tips and tricks. Um, this is Firefly, um, it is a website, um, it's also an app that you can download to your phone or your tablet if you just look in the app store, uh, look for Firefly for parents and you should be able to find it. Um, and it has two main purposes, the first is that teachers can set tasks through it and then pupils can submit their tasks through it, which is great uh, while we're socially distancing, so it means we don't have to be passing objects to each other. Um, and the second uh, main um, function of it is it's a place where we can put huge amounts of resources for you and your daughters to use for example PowerPoints, Word documents or even just uh, information like term dates or homework timetables or stuff like that. So it's very very useful and we hope you will join us um, in getting involved. So you get to Firefly by either downloading the app or going to the web page which is stmarysgx.firefly.cloud.net. Hopefully you've been given some paperwork or a letter with that address on it um, but you should be able to see it above my head here stmarysgx.firefly.cloud.net and if, it's, if you've gone to the correct page it'll look like this. If you google it Hopefully it will take you to the right link, but sometimes it takes you to another school called St. Mary's, um, which unfortunately isn't ours. So the best thing to do is to look for this logo here. And if you can see this logo, you are in the right place. Now you and your daughter will log in in slightly different ways. You have a parent login here on the left hand side, but she will log in through this Office 365 button because she will be given a school email address through our Microsoft package and therefore she will click that button and she'll log in with her normal school email address and password. So in, in, in for supporting your daughter, your daughter will have one school email address and password that she will use for her emails and for Firefly and for logging into the, the school system. So your, school, your daughter will never need a separate login for Firefly, a separate password for Firefly than she does for anything else she does in school. It's always the same. But for you, it's slightly different. The first time you log in, you'll come over here and you'll click this logging in for the first time button. Um, it will ask you for your email address and then it will send you an email um, to help you set up your account. Um, if it doesn't send you an email, uh, try clicking this uh, forgotten your password button um, and that sometimes wakes it up. It is possible that perhaps we have an old email address for you um, on our system and sometimes parent mail has one address and our ISAM system has another. But maybe when you first joined the school you gave us one email address and then updated parent mail or something like that. So if for any reason it doesn't work, um, contact us, send us an email telling us which email address you'd like to use with Firefly and uh, we will get that sorted for you. And once you log in, um, it should look something like this. Now I've asked one of my sixth form students if she would mind me showing um, her and her parents account uh, uh, for you today and they said that was absolutely fine. So thank you to Ria in year 13, who's one of my amazing politics students. And as a parent, when you log in, it looks like this. It gives you a bunch of useful buttons along here with some school policies, term dates, inspection report, etc. Um, if you scroll down, you can see the, uh, the school calendar, so you can see any upcoming events. And on the right hand side, and I'm not going to scroll down here but if you scroll down you'll be able to see the the contact details we have for you um, I, obviously I don't want to put Rias on the screen but if any of those details are wrong or out of date there's a button that allows you to click it um, and update your personal details at the top you have a button that says dashboard your child and resources if you have more than one child at St Mary's when you click this button it will ask you which child you want to kind of see the details of um, if you're on a phone or you're on an app you might see a big rainbow colored button at the top and if you click that then you'll get to see the other options will kind of pop out of it but if we click on uh, your child in which case this is uh, Rhea here what you will see is a load of stuff um, about your child. Um, so if they've written a personal blog or any personal pages, you might be, be able to see it. Once the, um, the reports start coming in, you'll be able to see them there. And I believe you can see their past reports as well. So this is where you come when you get told that the, uh, your, the, your child's uh, reports have been released. And that goes for both the short reports um, and the full reports as well. Um, you'll also be able to here to be able to see the tasks that have been set for your daughter. So here we can see a few things that Rhea still has to do. And, and there's a button here that says view all tasks. And if we click on that, 
you'll be able to see all the tasks that she's been set uh, until they've been archived and also the status of them. So we can see here that uh, Rhea has a few tasks still to do. She has a bunch of tasks that she's marked as done and then she's got one task which is overdue um, and that's her UCAS statement that she's working with Mrs. Williams. And so you can see the status of where they are. Now hopefully, if I just check my video to see where I'm standing. Okay, so on the left hand side there's some filters. Now you can support your daughters with this as well. Say you wanted to find um, something that I had set. So if I teach your daughter history or politics, you can also sort by a specific teacher and find the tasks that that particular teacher has set. You can also um, set it by when the particular task is due. So what are all the tasks that are due in the next seven days would be you'd click on the next seven days and so on. So th these buttons down the left hand side are really helpful for finding, helping your daughter find the tasks um, that they want. Because um, sometimes, sometimes our girls um, will say they can't find a particular task and it might be that they've um, pressed a button here and that they're looking at the, the, the tasks that are already done or they're looking at tasks for the wrong teacher or something like that. So if you could help them with that, um, we'd really appreciate it. And of course, we'll support them in school as best we can as well. Um, if I stay on this profile page we were on before, if you scroll down even further, you will find your daughter's school timetable. And in there, you can see what she's doing, when she's doing it and who she is um, doing it with. And of course, remember, if you have more than one um, daughter, you would have to then click this button, uh, your child at the top, and it would let you go between um, different students. Now, let's say we have a look at one of these particular tasks. So let's go into uh, one of Rhea's tasks here that was set by Mr. Gibb. Uh, if you click on a particular task, you'll be able to view the description. And so you'll see here that Mr. Gibb has given her lots of information, including a web link that she can click on, and it gives you some details about the task. So you'll be able to see what the task is that they have um, they have been set. And sometimes there might be an attachment there as well. So uh, this is one of the older tasks here, and you can see here that there, there's a short description of what they're doing, but there's also a file here. For her to download, some some uh, some of our younger students, especially, might need a little bit of help um, learning how to download a file, and especially after they have downloaded it, how do they then open it? Um, if you could support them with that, um, that would be fantastic. Now, for your uh, for your daughter themselves, um, if I just um, pretend to be uh, Rhea here for a second, so. Um, for her, her Firefly looks reasonably similar um, to yours. Um, she can receive announcements and messages from the school as well. She will also have a whole load of recommended bookmarks, which, which tend to be things like um, news blogs or student briefings, which we send out each day, um, as well as the as well as any marks she gets. So um, Rhea also has a section where she can see the marks and the feedback she's got um, for a particular task. Now, some of our students take a little bit of a while to learn how to, kind of, to submit tasks. So again, if I just click on this task here by Mr. Gibb as well, um, she has some additional buttons to, that she can press. Um, some tasks might involve her submitting a task through Firefly. So she would click on this button here that says send a file and then there's a button here that says attach a file. You can also drag in if you prefer to use it that way. But if she clicks attach a file, she can send one across from Google Drive or OneDrive or even um, get it from the computer. So she would click that button, find whatever file it might be like a Word document or a picture and upload it that way. Sometimes though she won't need to submit a file. You know, maybe the task is asking her to watch something or read something or prepare for something. So sometimes she might just want to press this button that says mark as done which will instantly give it um, a green tick um, and take it off her to-do list. There's also a button here that says send a comment which sends a message to the teacher. Um, to be honest it's probably better to use an email if you want to contact the teacher about a task um, just because we have so many different notifications kind of coming in things can be easily missed if they're inside a particular task um, but sometimes I use the the comment button for students to give feedback on their feedback so it all kind of remains in the same place but if you have homework questions probably better to send an email directly um, to your teacher let me just make sure I've covered everything that I was asked to do so we've we talked about uploading files 
Uh, can you see what she's learning in lessons? Yeah, sometimes you can see what she's learning in lessons. It, it depends. Uh, so for example, in this resources section at the top here, um, there is a section for parents where you can find the uh, homework timetable. So Rhea can't see that because she, she's obviously not a parent, but if you clicked on the resources, there's a parent section with homework timetables, term information, etc., etc. et cetera. Et cetera. Um, but you can also go and find um, some of the resource pages for, for classes as well, if you'd like to have a little look around. Um, some of our Firefly is completely finished and looking beautiful other parts are a work in progress uh, we started using this um, last year we've come on a long way but there are there are some pages which are beautiful and other pages which still which are still um, coming along so please bear with us on that but do feel free to have a uh, a little look around so for example if if I go into the politics section here um, I can see down the left hand side different kind of units I can kind of look at um, and then I can see various links to get um, to get around the site and if I click on US politics for example you can then see different pages that you can access um, with with various kind of resources in there it, it works a bit like a kind of a like an online virtual learning area um, so you can kind of click through and then you can see the kind of the various resources I put put together here we've got powerpoints we've got videos um, that they can um, access is access um, some teach some some sections have a lot more content than others but like I said please be bear with us as we build up um, our Firefly Right, I think that is everything you need to know. Sorry if that was a bit longer than I expected, but hopefully that answered a lot of your questions. Uh, do get in contact with uh, your child's tutor or um, pastoral leader if there's any issues, or come to me if there's any kind of technical problems or if you have any uh, suggestions for how we could use it in the future. Thanks for listening, and I hope that was useful.